morning friends and welcome to another day of online learning. We're going to start our day with our pledges. So if everybody will stand up real straight, take your right hand and put it over your heart. We will begin with the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all ready my country tis of thee my country tis of thee sweet land of liberty of thee i sing land where my fathers died land of the pilgrim's pride from every mountain side, let freedom ring. Great job. Let's move to the Christian flag. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for his kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. And let's move to the Bible. So get your Bible hands ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. Good job, friends. Now, let's put our hands together for the Lord's Prayer. Bow your heads. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, let's have a special prayer. Ready? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to bless our families and bless those who we love who are not with us. We pray that you keep us safe and healthy and help us each day to learn more about you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready to start our day. Good morning, friends, and welcome to another day of online learning. Today is Monday, May the 18th, and it is a special day today. See, I have a birthday cake here that says Khalees. Today is, Khalees is in Miss Edwards class, and today is her fifth birthday. Can you help me by singing happy birthday? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Khalees. Happy birthday to you. And we're praying special blessings on you today, your birthday. Now, yesterday was Sunday. Some of you may have actually got to go to church yesterday, depending on how big your church is. <clears throat> um, some of you may have watched it on TV. Some of you may have had special Bible studies with your families. We're all kind of doing a little bit different things right now. So if yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday. What is tomorrow? Starts with a T, and T makes the T, -t sound. Can you think of the day of the week that starts with that's right, it is Tuesday. So let's go ahead and do our Days of the Week song. You ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. 
one more time. There's Sunday, then there's Monday. There's Tuesday, then there's Wednesday. There's Thursday, then there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Great job, friends. Now, as we're learning days of the week, we're also talking about the months of the year. Do you think you can say those with me? Let's try. We're going to start with January, and there's 12. Remember the other thing that it, the number we call when things come in 12s, the word? It's a dozen. There are a dozen months, a dozen eggs in a container. When you buy donuts, you usually buy a dozen donuts. We have a dozen months. Let's start with January. Ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What is your favorite month? I'm going to have to say my favorite month is probably be my birthday month, November. And we get Thanksgiving in there too. So a lot of people have different favorite months. I also like April because I love the springtime. So April too. Tell me what your favorite month is. What do you think? Amarachi? Zoe? Thomas? Tell me what your favorite month is. Okay, friends, the song that we are going to sing today is called Down by the Bay. And I bet you've heard this song before. Let's try it. <laughs> Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a bee with a sunburn knee down by the bay? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a moose kissing a goose down by the bay? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Did you ever see a pig dancing the jig down by the bay? Did you like that song? It's one of my favorites. Play it again so you can sing along. Hi friends, we're going to sing a song about things that happen in the weather today. And we're going to sing about it being sunny, cloudy, rainy, and foggy. And when we sing about what type of weather we're having, I'm going to hold up the card and we're going to sing and spell the words. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, friends, here we go. We're starting with sunny. Ready? Sunny, 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 it is sunny in the sky. S-U-N-N-Y, sunny, it is sunny in the sky. Ready? Cloudy. Cloudy, 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 it is cloudy in the sky. C-L-O-U-D-Y, cloudy, it is cloudy in the sky. Rainy, 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 it is rainy in the sky. R-A-I-N-Y, rainy, it is rainy in the sky. Foggy, 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 it is foggy in the sky. F-O-G-G-Y, foggy, it is foggy in the sky. What's the 
weather like where you are right now? Is it sunny? Is it foggy? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Why don't you go outside and see what the weather is like? Don't just depend on the weatherman on TV. Do it for yourself. friends, we're going to go over all the alphabet letters, names, and the sounds. Remember, we want to be careful not to add anything to the sound. Ready? A. 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 Apple. B. 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 Bell. C. Cat. D. 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 Dog. E. E. E elephant F, F fish G G G goat H you feel your breath horse I I I inchworm J J, J jellyfish K K, K kangaroo L, U, U, lamp. M, 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 milk. N, 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 nest. O, A, A, octopus. P, 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 pig. Q, remember Q is always with his friend U. Q, 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 queen. R, 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 ring. S, S, snake. T, 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 table. U, 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 umbrella. V, 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 violin. W, 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 wagon. X, remember X usually comes at the end, sometimes at the beginning. It makes the KS sound together. X, X, at the end, like fox and box. At the beginning, like X-ray. Y, 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 yellow. Z, 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 zebra. Very good. See if you can do it one more time on your own. And then we're going to get ready to go over our vowels. Presto. Okay, we're going to talk about the vowels, which remember are A, E, I, O, and U. Trying to get rid of the glare. All right, now remember vowels are letters that are in every word. Almost every single word. And a vowel has two sounds. It makes the what we call the short sound, which is a ah, a ah, apple and a ah, a ah, cat. Then it also makes the long sound. Now, when it makes its long sound, it usually has of some other letters more than three. So its long sound says its name. So instead of saying a, ah, it says a, like a acorn and grr a ape. So a vowel can have two sounds. Let's look at the short sound. A, ah, a, ah, a, ah, apple, ah, and in the middle, cat, e, short sound is e, eh, at the beginning, e, eh, egg, in the middle, L. I, short sound, says I. In the beginning, I don't have that picture, like I, inchworm. In the middle, like get I, ift, and fit I, ish. Box, I'm, I'm sorry, O, ah, ah, at the beginning, like ah, octopus. In the middle, like ba, ox and fra-og. The short sound of U is 
uh, uh. At the beginning, like a uh, umbrella. In the middle, like buh, ug, and duh, uh, uck. Now, let's look at the long sound where it says its name. A says A, like in A, acorn, and gray, grape. E can say E in leaf and cheese. I can say I, like in ice cream and pie. O can say O, like in rose and goat, goat. U can say U, like in tu tulip and Q, Q. So let's go over the short sound and the long sound. Ready? The short sound of A is A, as in A. A apple and cat a, a the long sound of a says a as in a acorn and gray ape the short sound of e says e as in e egg and shell the long sound of e says e like in leaf and cheese the short sound of i says i like i Inchworm, get ift, and fit ish. The long sound of I says I, as in I ice cream and pie I. The short sound of O says aw, ah, as in ah octopus, ba ox, and fra og. The long sound of O says O, oh, its name, as in Rose and go oat. The short sound of you says uh, like a uh, umbrella, but ug and duh up. The long sound of you says its name you, as in to tulip and q q. You'll learn a lot more about this in kindergarten, but we just want to talk about right now that vowels have two sounds. Hi friends, we're going to go over all the alphabet letters, names, and the sounds. Remember, we want to be careful not to add anything to the sound. Ready? A, 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 apple, B, 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 bell, C, cat, D, d, d dog, E, 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 elephant, F, 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 fish, G, 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 goat, H, you can feel your breath, horse, I, 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 inchworm, J, 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 jellyfish, K, k, k kangaroo, L, U, U, lamp. M, 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 milk. N, 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 nest. O, A, A, octopus. P, 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 pig. Q, remember Q is always with his friend U. Q, 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 queen. R, er, er, ring. S, 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 snake. T, 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 table. U, uh, uh, umbrella. V, 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 violin. W, 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 wagon. X, remember X usually comes at the end, sometimes at the beginning. It makes the KS sound together. X, X, at the end, like fox and box. At the beginning, like X ray. Y, 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 yellow. 
Z, 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 Zebra. Very good. See if you can do it one more time on your own. And then we're going to get ready to go over our vowels. Presto. Okay, we're going to talk about the vowels, which remember are A, E, I, O, and U. Try to get rid of the glare. All right, now remember, vowels are letters that are in every word, almost every single word. And a vowel has two sounds. It makes the, what we call the short sound, which is ah, ah, apple, and ah, ah, cat. Then it also makes the long sound. Now, when it makes its long sound, it usually has of some other letters more than three. So its long sound says its name. So instead of saying a, ah, it says a, like a acorn and grr a ape. So a vowel can have two sounds. Let's look at the short sound. A, ah, a, ah, a, ah, apple, ah, and in the middle, cat, e, short sound is e. Eh, at the beginning, eh, egg, in the middle, sh, eh, l. I, short sound says i. In the beginning, I don't have that picture, like i, inchworm. In the middle, like get i, ift, and fit i, ish. Box, oh, I'm sorry, o, oh, ah, ah, at the beginning, like ah. Octopus in the middle, like ba ox and fra ox. The short sound of you is uh, uh. At the beginning, like a uh, umbrella. In the middle, like ba ug and da uh, uck. Now, let's look at the long sound where it says its name. A says A. Like in a acorn and gray grape. E can say e in leaf and cheese. I can say i like in ice cream and pie. O can say o like in rose and goat goat you can say you like in to tulip and q q so let's go over the short sound and the long sound ready the short sound of a is a ah, as in a ah, ah, apple and cat at ah, ah. The long sound of A says A, as in A acorn and gray ape. The short sound of E says E, as in E egg and shell. The long sound of E says E, like in leaf and cheese. The short sound of I says I, like I inchworm, get ift and fit ish. The long sound of I says I, as in I ice cream and pie I. The short sound of O says ah, as in ah octopus, ba ox, and fra og. The long sound of O says O, oh, its name, as in rose and go oat. The short sound of you says uh, like a uh, umbrella, but ug, and duh up. The long sound of you says its name you, as in to tulip and q q. You'll learn a lot more about this in kindergarten, but we just want to talk about right now that vowels have two sounds. Hey friends, today's story is Going Down Frog Street A to Z. You see, we got Fanny Frog out of here. Let's 
do it and then open up. Here we go. Hey, Apple Annie, Apple Annie, where have you been? To see Benjamin Bunny, he is my friend. Now, a a Apple Annie, what letter does she start with? And she's going to see B B Benjamin Bunny. Benjamin Bunny, Benjamin Bunny, where have you been? To see K Kathy Cook. She's my friend. What letter does K Kathy start with? And K K Cook. Kathy Cook, Kathy Cook, where have you been? To see Daisy Doll, he's, oh, she's my friend. So, D, D, Daisy Doll, there she is. D, Daisy Doll, Daisy Doll, where have you been? To see Elmo Elephant, he's my friend. Now, what letter does F, F, Elmo and F, F? Elephant start with. Were you right? Elmo, Elmo, elephant, where have you been? To see funny fish. He's my friend. What letter does funny fish start with? Were you right? Funny fish, funny fish, where have you been? To see Gus the goat. He's my friend. <gasps> Were you right? Gus the goat, Gus the goat, where have you been? To see Henrietta and Harvey, they're my friends. What letter does Henrietta and Harvey start with? Were you right? Henrietta and Harvey, where have you been? To see Isabella Inchworm. She's our friend. What does Inchworm? Isabella Inchworm, where have you been? To see Jungle Jim. He's my friend. Jungle Jim, Jungle Jim, where have you been? To see Katie Kangaroo. She's my friend. Katie Kangaroo, where have you been? To see Larry Lion, he's my friend. Got too many pages here. There we go. Larry Lion, Larry Lion, where have you been? To see Marvin Monkey, he's my friend. Marvin Monkey, Marvin Monkey, where have you been? To see Nellie Nurse, she's my friend. Nellie Nurse, Nellie Nurse, where have you been? To see Ollie Octopus. He's my friend. They got lots of friends, don't they? Can you say it with me? Ollie Octopus, where have you been? To see Penelope Pig. What is it? She's my friend. Can you say it with me? Penelope Pig, Penelope Pig, where have you been? To see Quilla Queen. She's my friend. Quilla Queen, Quilla Queen, where have you been? To see Rowdy Rat. He's my friend. I don't think I want a rat friend. Rowdy Rat, Rowdy Rat, where have you been? To see Silly Snake. He's my friend. Is he silly wearing a hat and a scarf in the summer? <laughs> silly Snake, Silly Snake, 
Where have you been to see Tommy Tiger? He's my friend. Tommy Tiger, Tommy Tiger, where have you been to see Uncle Ugby? He's my friend. He's wearing roller skates. And where do you think he's going? He's his umbrella and his towel and his floaty. Uncle Ugby, Uncle Ugby, where have you been? To see Victor Vulture. He's my friend. <gasps> Victor Vulture, Victor Vulture, where have you been? To see Willie and Wanda. They are my friends. Do you know what Willie and Wanda are? They're walruses. Willie and Wanda, where have you been? To see Foxy Roxy. She's our friend. Now remember, sometimes X comes at the end, so it's at the end of, actually in the middle of Foxy and Roxy. Foxy, Roxy, Foxy, Roxy, where have you been? To see Yippity Yak. He's my friend. Yippity Yak, Yippity Yak, where have you been? To see Zelda Zebra. She's my friend. Zelda Zebra, Zelda Zebra, where have you been? I've been down Frog Street to see my friends. Did you, were you able to identify all your letters A through Z? And all the animals' names started with those letters so you knew all the sounds. Thanks for coming along for another story time, friends. And remember, we love you and we miss you. And we can't wait till we're again, together, all together again. Bye, friends. Have a great, great and blessed day.